This tutorial will show how to set up a model for a response spectrum analysis. We will start with the model previously used for the modal analysis tutorial, where we requested two modes. We start by defining the response spectrum to be used. In this case, we will use a UBC 97 curve. which we will give the name UBC97RS. Note that our seismic coefficients are set to 0.4, which we will leave as is. We can move the cursor over the graph to obtain the coordinates at any point. Next, we define an analysis case to include the response spectrum analysis. We will call the new case RSP and we'll select response spectrum as the type. We have a number of ways that we may combine the modes for a given direction, including CQC, square root sum of the squares, absolute sum, and others but we will use the complete quadratic combination here. We can also combine the directional responses using either SRSS or ABS. The analysis will use modes defined by the modal case. The response spectrum will be applied as an acceleration in the U1 direction using the previously defined curve, but we will need to apply a scale factor to convert from G units to inch units. Double-clicking while holding the shift key brings up the calculator box. Now we are ready to run the analysis. We will run both the modal and RSP cases. We can view the deformed shape for the response spectrum case by going to the display, show deformed shape, and selecting the RSP case. We can also view output in tabular form such as for the displacements. Here we have asked for the output for just the RSP case. Note the loss of signs due to the modal combination technique. This concludes this tutorial.